about to uh, look at the luckiest man alive. And uh, you might be thinking, oh, I've, I've, I'm a lucky man myself, but no. This is the luckiest man alive right here. We, we assembled the, uh, the biggest trick shots, the skill shots, the uh, hot shots, the card shots, the biggest ones and all. Gave them each a dart. Said, hit this man right here. None of them could hit him. This was the, the, the practice round. Every hit, every shot. But this one, no shot. You know why? Because this little guy here has faith on his side. He knew he wasn't going to get hit, so he didn't get hit. He, he believed that he wasn't going to get hit. He chanted the mantras, the Buddhist and Hindu mantras, 5,000 years old each. Why do you think they're so old? Because they're effective. He had it on his side. He knew. He knew what was happening. And he, he was able to, by saying this, he was able to prevent his own failure and demise. Look at this. There was a Buddhist convention and they talked about, uh, they said to this little man, this man over here, they said, they said, say the words and you'll be a hero. And uh, if you don't say the words, you're going to get hit with darts by the world's biggest pizza pockets and skill shots. He knew what he was going to do. Do or die, now or never. Figure it out. You're on your own, bull buddy. And he, he took the bull by the horns and he broke the camel's back. He reached in. He reached in. And he grabbed, uh, grabbed, uh, um, he grabbed a, a string of words out of his bag, his vocabulary, and he, uh, he couldn't, you know, he, he couldn't do it, but he did it, so he's the bat. <laughs>